Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here and Apple today just announced macOS Sequoia, the latest operating system for the Mac. In this video, we're gonna go over all the information about compatibility with your Mac and whether you're gonna be able to install it or not. You can go to the macOS Sequoia preview page. I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can read all the information about the latest operating system. If you wanna know if your Mac is compatible, I also wanna compare this list against the previous year, macOS Sonoma and the Macs that were left off for that year. So if you wanna see the compatibility this all you need to do is go all the way to the bottom and we can take a look at the compatibility list now I wanted to compare these two because it's a big update and there was a lot of talk on how Apple was possibly going to be completely dropping the 2008 Intel line from the MacBook Pro to the Mac mini to the MacBook Air and even the iMac Pro which is a hugely powerful iMac computer with a Xeon processor and up to 16 gigabytes of video RAM. Now, when you look at here, they switched around some of the things, but the bottom line is compared to last year where we lost three different models. This year we lose just two laptops, which is unbelievable. We were really thinking it was going to be a lot worse this year. So let's take a closer look at this list. First of all, there was talk that this was going to be additional to that possibility of 2018 being gone, that the T2 Max would be enforced across the line. Now, what's interesting is here is the only Mac on this list here that does not have a T2 security chip is the 2019 iMac. And I was actually talking to McCullough last night about that, and he was saying that this machine actually still has the Fusion Drive in it, which is that seemed like a good idea at the time, but it's probably not the best idea anymore. So it's interesting that that's still on the board here, but I also think it's interesting that the iMac Pro survived, and it should though, because this thing is a very powerful device, and definitely should have no problem whatsoever running the latest version of Sequoia. Now, Mac Mini 2018 is still here, so if you got your Intel T2 Mac Mini, you are good to go. You're your Mac Pro is still here, your Mac Studio, obviously that's gonna be there. And our 2018 MacBook Pro is still there. Again, we got a ton of users out there with 2018 MacBook Pro, so that's really great for them. The casualty comes in right here with the MacBook Air. Unfortunately, the 2018 and 2019 MacBook Air are the ones that got the ax this year. So if you've got one of those machines, unfortunately you are not gonna be able to install Mac OS Sequoia. Now, I can understand that a little bit. The years past, I did not really understand it because those machines that were chopped off this list could totally run it. But there's definitely been reports of those machines not really doing very well with the thermo and the running hot and running a little bit slow. I can get that, but they're still capable units. Don't get me wrong. If you've got one of these units from 2018 or 19 MacBook Air, it's still a great laptop. So it's just too bad that those didn't get it. But Overall, I'm very happy with this list, and I know a lot of people, even from the Hackintosh community, were worried that this was gonna be T2 across the board, and they're probably gonna be pretty happy that it's not, and this iMac is pretty much saving them here. So I am very happy with this list. Let me know what you think in the comments about this list. Are you impressed by this list? Do you think that they should have did better than last? We, we can always talk about Open Core Legacy Patcher and especially those devices that we're gonna be looking at with the possibility of support for Mac OS Sequoia that we'll talk about a little bit later in another video. But let me know and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.